tonight, campus security, two crimes in two days on two separate area campuses. It all has students on high alert. First, fast, accurate. You're watching WSBT Channel 22 News at 11. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Diane Daniels. Campus security weighing heavily on the minds of students at both Notre Dame and IU South Bend tonight. WSBT 22, Zach Crenshaw is at the live desk with information on two separate incidents at those universities. Zach? The first took place at Notre Dame early Saturday morning and culminated in a robbery, Diane. And the second crime was on IU South Bend's campus early this morning, where campus police say a student was hit in the head and sexually assaulted. Emergency siren poles are visible all across IU South Bend's campus. They're there as deterrents, but according to police, they didn't stop two people from sexually assaulting a student near the Oxbow Building parking lot just after midnight Sunday. That's very unfortunate. Almost nothing is known about the two suspects. In a crime alert, the only detail given is that one male was wearing a baseball cap. It's the second sexual assault to IUSB in the last month. Just back to back. Uh, within the last two months. Students say they're concerned and are taking precautions when on campus. I live a block away, but if I know I'm going to be here late, I drive my car so I don't have to walk alone at night. When I'm walking out, like I work late nights at the library, if I'm walking out, I'm walking out with a security guard or an officer or one of my co-workers. Earlier this weekend, just miles away, a separate campus crime at Notre Dame near the Morris Inn. Three men in a silver sedan approached a Notre Dame student, told him to get in the car, and took him to a gas station and store to get money for them. No gun was seen, but campus police say it was implied the men had one. And now both universities are urging their students to travel in groups and be alert. I have a 7 o'clock. A class that gets out at 7 on Mondays, and I have to come right here, and it's dark. So if I don't see someone else walking, I, I do feel a little afraid and kind of if you don't walk and just from here to there. Now, a spokesperson for IU South Bend told us this afternoon that no further information is being released on today's sexual assault investigation, but that South Bend City Police are working with campus police on the case. They also say that the sexual assault that took place last month remains open. Reporting at the Live Desk, Zach Crenshaw, WSBT 22 News.